Hey all, hope you are good. Welcome to my channel, Sri Bala Coding. In today's video, I'm going to show how we can read a CSV with PyScript using Pandas library. So, as you all know, PyScript is one of the framework which enables us to run our Python code inside HTML. So, let's begin. So, this is one of the basic template uh, that I've written. In, uh, HTML is the main tag inside which head tag and body tag is present. So let's in, uh, in order to import PyScript code, we just have to use uh, two lines of code, one CSS and one JavaScript. So let me paste it here. Oops, we have pasted the wrong place. Okay, inside here. Inside PyEnv, we usually write uh, the libraries, Python libraries that we are going to import and use in our uh, Python code. So, in order to read CSV file, we are going to use pandas library. So, let me write pandas. Seems good. And inside body tag, let's uh, write one uh, h1 tag and with the content will um, serve of coding and let it save and inside let's import pandas as pd let's even write a print statement Seems good. We can re uh, read a CSV file using read CSV function, and uh, our address dot CSV is present in the same path of our uh, home dot HTML. So let's write it here. Let me copy paste it here and print df dot head so uh, let's see how home dot html looks like so as you can see here this is our header one tag which is present welcome to my channel sri world of coding and this is our print statement. Please subscribe to my channel. As you can see, there is an error that no such file or directory is present. Address.csv. So, what it does, it runs a local uh, virtual, uh, uh, virtual server which does not have address.csv. So in there, its file system, there is no, uh, in its virtual file system, there is no files that exist. That's why it says that no such file or directory is present. So what we are going to do, we are running our own server, Python server on port 8080. So we can run a Python virtual server using python m http dot server on port 80 and what we are going to do we are going to mount our file system using path variable and giving the path of the file that we are going to mount there seems good and now let's follow our server so our server is running on localhost 0 dot 1 so inside this we are going to access home.html 
so this is our HTML code so what you are basically doing we are mounting uh, this path on our Python virtual server so that it could access addresses.csv so in the meanwhile let me show you the sample address.csv so this is the name and the address of an individual that is learning uh, there so let's check again it shows uh, that no file up is found let me check what's wrong in the code uh, paths paths is the variable name let me refresh again as you can see each time our uh, we are refreshing our server a log is being generated okay cool so as you can see this is my print statement this is my header and this is the content of our csv file that we have read using pandas so uh, if i will show you until until 8075 this is our first row then until 91 uh, 9119 is our second row so let let's some beautify the output of our code so what we're gonna do first um, let's create a, a placeholder with id equal to csv seems good and what we're gonna do after this let me remove this we are capturing the element csv and printing it using csv dot write inside it dfo dot head will be present and let me remove this so we have just what we have used we have created a placeholder name id and we and we using that placeholder to print df dot head it seems good and let me refresh our page all right it's reading okay so far what it is uh, our output now seems to be present in much cleaner way so it has re uh, uh, read the first row as header we have to write header equal to none and let's and what should I do? Uh, let me move a little bit here. Seems good. And let's refresh. So, okay, okay. <laughs> so these two comes down. So as you can see, this is the output of our pandas code in which I provided header is equal to none so it's writing in form of 0 1 to 5 and index is also none so using this way we can read a pandas file read a csv file using pandas we can even read uh, pandas from an online online site using this but we have to import another library known as pyrodite uh, let me write it here from pyrodite 
डॉट एस टी टी पी इम्पोर्ट ओपन यू आर एल सो यूजिंग दिस लाइब्रेरी वी कैन रीड आवर सी एल वी फाइल सो वट विल डू लेट्स रिमूव अ होल एज अ होल ओपन यू आर एल and give inside this path so this address of csv is hotel is hosted on my github so i'm reading from there and click on save and let me refresh it again oh refresh my home dot stream so as you can see we have read our csv file which is hosted on github using pyodide library so in this tutorial i have shown how we can read a csv file using pandas in pyscript from local and even from a url so hope you enjoyed my videos kindly like and subscribe to my channel have a nice day